What's up, Simon Eggs? Welcome back to your favorite show on YouTube. It is time for App Review. Today I got three applications for you. A local exhibition, a party application that maybe isn't too much used currently, and a simple helper for finding lyrics for free. All of these applications look great on the outside, but I'm sure we can learn a thing or two for our own applications and how we can improve them in the future. Okay, first application of the day is called Laga 2020. It's actually a German application, which you can see from this very long word, Landesgartenschau, which means basically, I think it's an event to present some cool gardens. I've never been to this, but it came to me uh, through Twitter and I wanted to check it out. So let's give it a try. Um, so this is actually good that it happens right now because I don't really like when I get asked for push notifications immediately in the beginning. Uh, I would really like to use the application and at some specific point you can ask for permissions. So I wouldn't uh, recommend to do this in the beginning. A lot of apps currently already have like an introduction where it says, okay, we want to do uh, or give you some information on a daily basis. Is that okay for you? You press okay, let me know, and then it will ask for permission. So uh, I think that's a very uh, much of a better way to introduce push notifications to the user. So let's switch the link. I actually think that's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, let's pick that language. So that should be fine for you. As far as I know, the application is built with Ionic. First screen is kind of okay, although I don't really like this, the color on this highlighted thing. I could, I think that needs a bit more love. Uh, I guess you can, okay, you can't buy a ticket from the application. Uh, you can only buy it online. Um, okay, some information. I'm really looking uh, for this. So I can zoom into this a bit. Bit, but it doesn't really work that great. Um, I can click on these events and I will get some more information about them. So the bus shuttle or, well, I can't click. Okay, I can only click on these small icons here on the map. At least it's something. In general, I actually like the background. It's, well, okay, I, I, I liked it. <laughs> So the background image is pretty nice, I think, but uh, the black on this background, I think doesn't really work, especially also this light gray or whatever color. Uh, I think it's maybe hard to read and I don't think it looks that good. Um, maybe white could work or actually having some background for these items. Uh, let's take in look at them. Actually, these cards are kind of nice with a little shadows here. So um, that's pretty good. Here we could actually use um, this effect I used in the past. I'm not sure if it's called parallax. So where the content looks like it scrolls above the image because the image scrolls out slower. So whenever you have an image like this at the top of your view, I would definitely add this. It always makes a page uh, immediately look better. Um, I'm not sure about these huge fonts right here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The change between the languages works great. It would be cool to actually buy a ticket from the app. Um, that should be somehow possible as well. Yeah, I really think this view where you can switch between the different uh, elements um, is like the most important view, but um, well, it crashed, I'm not sure why. But I think because it's also the top button in here, I think it's the most important element for persons coming to that exhibition. Now, uh, in general, I like the idea. I really like the background. Um, the app is kind of simple, but I also feel like um, some colors or some elements uh, could need a bit more time. Like this buy button um, looks like uh, somebody said, please make a buy button uh, on that page now uh, at the last day or um, the headlines that are way too big in my eyes. This could be a lot smaller, but if every person going to this, um, no, that's not, not, not go that way. Um, <laughs> I like the application. Um, I like the general color theme, but there could be a bit more love on these elements. There could be uh, a bit bolder font on the buttons, some shadows here and there. But in general, I think it's a great way to really quickly come up with an application 
are for an event like this. So if you have some local events going on, perhaps just ask them if they also need an application and then build it yourself. Application number two is called Party Animal and was sent to me when all of these uh, Corona crisis started. So I really feel like not a lot of persons are using that application, but we will take a look at it since it looks actually kind of nice. Uh, there we go. Um, once again, the same pattern. Don't ask for push notifications immediately in the beginning. I really don't know um, why I need them. I will click don't allow and I will never go back to my settings to change them to allowing them. So my language should be English. Uh, I agree with this for now. Uh, a lot of fancy colors, I guess. This application really, really uses a lot of colors. It's maybe for party people. Um, okay, ask your guests anything you need to know. Analyze their answers. It looks like um, a nice introduction, actually. I really enjoy that. Um, this screen, mm, no. It sort of has all the necessary elements. Log in, sign in with Facebook and the new sign in with Apple. Um, but let's also check out the registration. Yeah, um, the border around this field and the dark field doesn't really work. Perhaps I would use a different background image. Also, no, for some reason that text is completely off screen. Um, I'm in the application and um, contrary to the previous application, this text is maybe a bit too small on the device. It's really kind of tiny. Um, so maybe I would make that a bit bigger, but at least we have uh, uh, whatever. It triggers kind of fast in here and doesn't feel that natural. Not sure why, and also that image could use a bit more padding from the top, so a bit more padding here. Okay, I like the color of the tap bar because it's for uh, events or parties. Uh, this dark theme really works, and I really like the kind of blue color. So there's not a lot going on in this application so far. I don't know, that is definitely not my image. <laughs> I have no idea who that person is or why this is the image for my Apple ID. I don't know. Uh, we got a lot of settings. Actually, that screen, um, uh, interesting, uh, looks a lot better than the lock-in screen. So perhaps the lock-in screen should use some elements from this screen. Uh, I don't really want to see the privacy now. I don't know why I clicked it. So let's create a new event. Um, error, all marked fields are required. Um, I'm really like, if you need a monkey tester for your application, just hire me. Uh, I might be a bit expensive, but I will definitely click on all buttons that I shouldn't click on. All right, so it looks like I can enter uh, some credentials or information about the event. I actually like that there's like a little stepper telling you how many steps there will be. So that's the first, then we got two more. Um, this form is, well, okay. I know that all of these are now required. Um, we could maybe also say just everything is required on that page instead of having um, the star everywhere. And I also, I don't know, um, I like the, the white font, uh, the easy, uh, the white color on the background. But now looking at that page, it's really hard to see which is actually the input and which is um, the label for the fields. So I would somehow make this somehow different, perhaps uh, give the uh, label for the input field a different color because right now it's just to me a huge text, a page of text and really hard to find which element I want to edit. Anyway, let's continue. I'm on step two. It's nothing there. Let's create a survey. Um, okay, so now I got a survey. I have no idea why I need a survey, um, but I guess that's cool. Let's continue. So we got a link to your event, which should be shared with guests. Uh, let's try this somehow. So when I with it, the link here, um, there's actually not what I thought it would be. Now after creating this event, um, I have it in my event list, I guess now other people need to download the application and somehow check into this event so I can see the answers. Um, I don't know who voted already for this because that's just not possible. Okay, so I used the, a new account, I used the link and now when I visit the link, Chrome wants to open party animals. So universal links or deep links are actually uh, enabled. I can now request access to that invitation and now I have to go back to the other account. Uh, it's interesting during testing, I, I used uh, two different accounts um, and after log in and log out I can now see this is the party I created as the first user and I can see in other events um, the data from the second user so 
If you have any observables, any data inside your pages, always make sure that on lockout everything is cleared, every observable is unsubscribed, every data is gone because... And what I also just noticed with my eye is these icons and numbers are not aligned. What a huge mistake. Okay, that's finally the screen I wanted to get to. As the second user, I'm now inside this party. I can select if I want to go. Uh, once again, like in other apps we've seen, this app could need a bit more padding here. So the buttons are stick to the top. If I go into something, everything's just uh, put into this little corner. Look at this, there's a whole screen you can use. I um, just have a huge input right here uh, and the big button at the bottom. I don't want to reach with my thumb up here. I want to click at the button. You want to make it easy for the user to use the elements of your application. I can uh, recommend songs. Actually, there's a huge gap now between those elements. Not sure why. Confirm guests. Uh, it's a bit empty. Everyone has gone. It looks like two pages or something. Uh, really not sure what's going on because here's like one page and then we got like another page so uh, I said more padding but that's a bit too much padding now what I really like about this application is actually the color theme it's kind of crazy a bit um, and maybe I would use white Nah, it wouldn't work white it's, it's okay I really like it we have the primary color here and there we got batches um, the general application works but once again we might need a bit more padding um, the introduction was okay. Uh, we've seen the cache data on lockout, which can be a problem. And we also saw the uh, request for push notifications right in the beginning that should be delayed to a later point. But besides that, I think the app is pretty cool. Uh, you should check it out, Party Animal, both on Android and iOS available. Finally, one more application. This is only available on Android. It's called Etsy Lyrics, I guess. Um, the creator uh, or the application first of all got a lot of great reviews that's what I wanted to check it out it is also built with Ionic and also uh, the creator has created other apps with Flutter or React Native but this one was with Ionic so I definitely wanted to check it out search for lyrics any songs uh, with the song name and if you know the artist name uh, okay let's search for um, I don't know, I'm listening to a bit of Nightwish recently, so let's search for Amaranth. Um, well, and the application immediately finds that, well, it was kind of easy. Uh, let's just, is there a word that I can use from a song? Now quickly before doing another search, I actually just noticed that when I click into it, uh, you see the button moving from the field to the top. It's really a, a subtle animation. Uh, it's not perfect, but I kind of enjoy that something is happening when I click into the field. Really, it's 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 nice. I just it's it's okay. Perhaps I would maybe uh, change it from being like a button to just being a title because uh, it's I guess you shouldn't click it. It just goes back to normal. But in general, animation cool. Um, maybe it could be a bit better designed. Okay, so I searched for bless the child. It actually finds Nightwish bless the child. Uh, let's check it out. It presents the information. It presents like the lyrics and when I go up once again a nice animation right here. So when I scroll down uh, this button leaves and then when I go up at some point the fab will come in again. I really like that. Uh, it's hiding when I want to read it. It comes back now. I actually don't know what it does. Okay, I can hard it or I can share it. Um, always nice to have that functionality. Let's see what we got as well. Uh, we got a list of favorites, of course. Um, perhaps I would actually make sure that the name fits into this box. Um, I can filter by my artist, so whatever I've stored looks like uh, appears in the filter. Uh, now I could, of course, search and, well, whenever you have a search and you don't have any results, I would always add at least a little text, no results found. It always looks better like now a completely empty view. Uh, about free finding any... I'm really curious why this is... Oops, why this application is so far us. Because when I search, bless the child once again. Okay, that's not bless the child. Ah, sweet Jesus, come on. Um, it's very fast, so perhaps that even has a database on the device because that list appears immediately. There, there can't be any API requests, I think. Um, in general, a really simple application, but actually um, Akash took some time to add animations like this. 
Um, and also within the uh, lyrics list to make that button disappear. I really think you should always take the time to add these little things to your application, like a little animation that the user isn't expecting. It's always cool to have this in your application, it always spices up your app. Um, besides that, of course, there could be a bit better UI, although this is now a bit blurry, that's just because my phone, it's not like that in reality. Um, we could maybe use that primary color also here on our tab bar, that would look nice as well. Um, maybe a bit different, maybe an image here and there, there could be a bit more on the page, let's be honest. But the functionality works, making favorites works, um, and the application is free. So that if you're looking for a simple application to find your lyrics, check it out. I think it's only available on Android, so AK -ish perhaps. Um, after uh, really great reviews, maybe it's an idea to go for iOS now. <laughs> All right, that's it for app review this week. Uh, what did we learn today? First of all, don't ask for push notifications right in the beginning. Make this call a bit later in your application when it makes sense to the user. Once again, use padding in your applications and fill the empty space. Don't just put everything into the top of the app. Only even if you think it's just an input field, then just go ahead and put it like really big into the center of your application. Also, of course, always make sure about the sessions that you have, uh, or maybe even you don't have sessions, you have a JSON web token, but information can be stored within your service or uh, within the storage. Um, so always make sure after a lockout you completely clear all data related to that previous account. And finally, if you think your application is finished, maybe just take a few more hours to add a little cool something like a batch here, um, a little animation there, maybe a bit of more shadow here. Really think about some elements um, that can spice up your applications. We've seen them in the last application, uh, fading out a few buttons or just moving them across the screen. It is really not too hard with CSS animations these days or other frameworks that you can use. So take the time and improve your applications. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of App Review. If you got own applications, as always, let me know below or uh, tweet at my name. You should find me somewhere uh, also in the description. And of course this week go out, build applications, um, take a look at the things we've discussed in your own applications and think about if you can improve the UI, the UX flow in your applications for your users. Have a great week and I will catch you next week like always. So happy coding, Simon. Simon.